Dr. Robinson, we have been waiting all night for word on Anna Devane. Someone from Anna's team will be down shortly. No, now. that's not good enough. There's got to be a reason for this extended silence. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Look, I just need to know about Anna Devane. As I stated, Mr. Cassidyne, Anna is not my patient. Okay, so she's not your responsibility, so I'm not your problem? I didn't say that. No, you're not really saying much about anything. If you could just maybe not give me a bunch of hospital policy, not give me a bunch of excuses, and just get me some answers. Valentine, that's enough. Or you'll have to answer to me. This is a private conversation. This doesn't concern you. It does when it concerns my wife. Now show some respect. Let me, um, let me see what I can find out. Thank you. When was the last time you saw Trina? Last night. Maybe she knows something that could help us track down Spencer. Thank you. I have news. Anna is just out of surgery, and they're getting her set up in the ICU room as we speak. Can we see her? After a surgery like this, it might take a while before she wakes up. But yes, yes, you can. I don't want to crowd Anna. You go on in first. I'll let you know how she is. Dr. Robinson, I am sorry. I shouldn't have spoken to you that way. Apology accepted. Please go, go see Anna. Let me know if there's anything else I can do, please. Uh, Portia, could you wait for a second, please? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. What's up? I'm sure it's probably nothing. Have you heard from Trina lately? Well, I had an extremely strained conversation. No, 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 I wouldn't even call it a conversation. A moment with Trina at the nurse's ball. Okay. And after that? I stopped by her dorm room to talk and check on her. But she wasn't there and she never showed up. So she didn't call or leave a text saying why she wasn't going to be there? No, no, but she had no idea that I was going to be there. And it's not like she's calling or texting me that much nowadays anyway. Curtis, why? Why are you all the questions? What's going on? I, I know it's probably nothing. Yeah, you keep saying that, but it's clearly something. You can't ask me all these questions about Trina and not expecting me to ask why. I don't want to worry you. It's too late for that. As it turns out, Spencer went missing last night along with his little brother. And since Trina was with him at the ball, she may have been the last person to see him. OK, I, I need to call Trina. Let's go on straight to voicemail. Maybe she has her phone off. Trina, honey, it's mom. I, I just want to check and see if you're OK. All right, so give me a call. She's not going to listen to that. I'm going to text her, too. I'll call the university, have them do a safety check. There it is. The text, they're not, they're not going through. They're, they're going as not delivered. What do I do now? I, I can't, I can't reach my daughter? I can't reach. My daughter, Curtis. Poor Trina is one of the most practical, level-headed young people we know. Yeah, except when it comes to Spencer Cassidyne, though. That's the problem. Uh, hey, maybe, maybe her phone is dead. That would explain the voicemail, but not the text going through. Okay, maybe it's just out of range. No. No. No, 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 not Trina. No. 